Today is May 26th edition of Back Roads of Illinois on Today. We were Central Illinois Agriculture Source and in the Midwest alongside in Central Illinois Agriculture, we were glad you're here. I've been out for the last week from the Daily Show, but I enjoyed it my break from work. I visited my friend's farm in Illinois. They are good stewardship practices for his family farm operation. Yes, that's right. There's great stewardship in the ground in central Illinois. Otherwise, thanks for sharing his story. Otherwise, we were hearing in Iowa and Minnesota. There was pretty heavy stuff in Iowa because it was a couple of tornadoes in Iowa, but unfortunately there are many damaged, and fatally from that tornado in Greenwood, Slater, Iowa. Do you want to donate to the farmers and ranchers, ag community, go to go serve, global kinfolk. Com slash embed, I put the link below to my LinkedIn. My thoughts and prayers are with the families in Iowa to them. This is your agricultural news and markets update on back roads of Illinois. The farm bill is ready to pass along with the Congress for this week. House reps. G.T. Thompson is going to be shared with the farm bill for this week in the House, but the Democrats are opposed to the language of the farm bill House. Rip Scott D. From Georgia, he opposed to the SNAP program from the Republican version in the bill to Congress in Washington. Second case of the bird flu from the dairy herd in Michigan. There were a farm workers were getting affected by the bird flu from the dairy herd. There is remain low risk for the general public according by the Department of Agricultural and CDC. Violent storms and violent tornadoes in the Midwest and Central U.S. in Iowa, there were a F3 tornado in Greenwood, Iowa. There were one fatally from the tornado in Greenwood and severe damages as well. The markets take hitting from the beans. Announcement from President Joe Biden made his plans to put in tariff to China. However, the beans cry out is lower than expected. This time is for your agricultural or commodity markets. Corn futures finished and down two to three cents. Soybean futures finished and down two to four cents. Wheat futures finished and up two to seven cent. Now that we are going to talk about the livestock market for today, cattle futures finished and up two to four cents per weight. Lean hogs finished and down three to four cents per weight. We were going to listen on last week's farm bill discussion with Michael Clement from the National Farm Broad. With the tight margins in the House, Republicans have a majority of five. We need the bill to be a bipartisan bill. Otherwise, this will not make it to the House floor. We know that there are some Republicans who will vote against any new spending. And so this bill, if it has a chance to make it in this Congress, needs to be done with bipartisanship. And that's what we hope to see. Joe Gilson, see the farm bill is not bipartisanship to the farm bill in Washington, D.C.
the farm bill has always been done on a bipartisan basis with a coalition of nutrition, environmental, and farm commodity organizations and constituents from across the country supporting this. We need to keep that coalition together to get the bill across the finish line. And farmers and ranchers across the country need to see investments made in the farm safety net. The farm bill has been done with bipartisanship way to Congress, but both of the parties' line are bogged down with the CPR program, Taiwan, the SNAP program. This mark has some huge investments made to the farm safety net in Title I. He also has a provision in there to maintain interstate commerce for agriculture products, which deals with what California has done with Proposition 12. Chairman Thompson also has improvements to the dairy program. And there's more conservation resources <laughs> to help farmers protect resources they've been entrusted with. G.T. Thompson is working on it for the farm bill for this year in Washington, D.C. with the Democrats, but the Democrats are opposed to the Republicans' version. Lawmakers in the House of Representatives began the first major steps to reaching the finish line for a new farm bill. However, Joe Gilson, American Farm Bureau Federation Government Affairs Director, says the bill needs bipartisan support to move forward. With the tight margins in the House, Republicans have a majority of five. We need the bill to be a bipartisan bill. Otherwise, this will not make it to the House floor. We know that there are some Republicans who will vote against any new spending. And so this bill, if it has a chance to make it in this Congress, needs to be done with bipartisanship. And that's what we hope to see. Gilson says history shows the Farm Bill has always been a bipartisan effort, bringing broad swaths of food and agriculture together. The Farm Bill has always been done on a bipartisan basis with a coalition of nutrition, environmental, and farm commodity organizations and constituents from across the country supporting this. We need to keep that coalition together to get the bill across the finish line. And farmers and ranchers across the country need to see investments made in the farm safety net. Gilson says Farm Bureau supports the bill presented by House Agriculture Committee Chair Glenn G.T. Thompson. His mark has some huge investments made to the farm safety net in Title I. He also has a provision in there to maintain interstate commerce for agriculture products, which deals with what California has done with Proposition 12. Chairman Thompson also has improvements to the dairy program, and there's more conservation resources to help farmers protect resources they've been entrusted with. Learn more at fb.org slash farm bill. Michael Clements, Washington. Thanks to Michael Clement from Net. Thanks for the audio from Michael Clement from National Farm Broadcasters Association. This time for the cattle on feed report from the Department of Agricultural. Feed placement is 99, 1% from 97. Nine between 100. 5% for the estimate range from the Department of Agricultural. All right, folks, there's our show for today on Back Roads of Illinois. For Back Roads of Illinois, I am Caesar Delgado. Have a good day.